ready? Yep. Well, good to talk to you, Louis. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Um, you know, I saw you last at the end of last year in Abu Dhabi. Yep. Um, since we were teammates, the, the careers have gone different ways. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've thought about you a lot. Uh, you know, obviously, amazing achievements and. Um, what a fine young man you've become. Yeah, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. That's, that's probably the, the nicest compliment I've had. Young, still You're young. Welcome. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. No, um, it's, been an, it's been, we've had so many great days. Um, I, miss, I miss our racing here many, many years ago. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's good to see you. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, my only win came here in 2008. Yep. Uh, but it's probably the best place for a Finn. Uh, yeah. Because a lot of the Finns are traveling here. Yep. So it was a lucky win, but... Uh, I don't know. It's it was okay. like, yeah, I, I mean, think you did, the, you did the job. Yeah. I damaged your the car, time, your, your and you did a better did job. <laughs> yeah, um, I think it was a flat so. spot, or yeah, I think so, yeah, I can't you, were, I think you were struggling all weekend with the high tire wear. Yeah, and I then it went remember. on that. I think uh, turn five or whichever. I was the so right aggressive hand. on the yeah. tires, yeah. <laughs> just pushing <laughs> everywhere. Probably a few turns faster as well. Oh, so. it is, yeah, but it didn't last. No stamina. Yeah. Anyway, I mean. You know, there are no style points in Formula One, so I mean, I yeah, took the win, and I mean, it's great memories. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, first of all, I thought I'd ask you about this season. Um, obviously, somewhat different season to uh, many other years. You know, your car has not been competitive enough. Um, how do you feel about it? Yeah, it's been um, it's been a really challenging year. I would say similar to the year we had in 2009 with the car that. You know, we arrived in the factory in February or January or February, I think, 2009, and they said the car, you know, we're looking good. And then we got to the first yeah. test and we we're like, whoa, it's a long way away from where we need to be. And as a team, we've gone through a similar process in terms of trying to, you know, strip away some things, rebuild, regroup, maneuver this car into um, a better place. And we've had really some really nice consistency in these last few races, which has been great. Um, we're still lacking performance. And which is the difficult thing because, like, I think there's potential in this car, but we've had to depower it to stop it from bouncing. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but we've had really good reliability. So, but we can't forever rely on reliability being the thing that keeps us on the yeah. podium. So we really need performance. Yeah. How has it been, you know, working with the team? Is is um, is it like a similar to when you joined the Mercedes? That kind of like guiding the team. At that point, it was not back to the top, but actually for the first time to the top, and, and yeah. this time kind of guiding again back to the top. Have you? Has it's it been like enjoyable challenge in a way, even though it definitely the results has. <laughs> suck, you know? Yeah, it definitely, definitely has. I would say when I first joined the team, whilst at that point was the most um, most mature I was and experience that I had, I would say now with all the experience that I have, I think I'm in a uh, a much more grounded place, a much stronger place in terms of my relationship with everyone. I've been here for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So in terms of pulling together, you know, it's no one man that, that leads the team. We do it all collectively. Yeah. Um, and I think this year has meant that we've been able to focus on things that we're lacking um, in terms of tools back at the factory, in terms of understanding what we have, where we're going, in terms of our work, at, uh, our work processes, mm -hmm. um, our patience, and our persistence, mm. I think, has been uh, something we've had to dig even further to have even more of that and something I'm really proud of. So when we're now getting, I remember me in like Montreal getting fourth place qualifying. It, yeah. was, it was quite emotional. It was like, wow, this, I remember yeah. how great it felt because we really struggled with the car. And then getting our first podium, you know, uh, not our first podium, but our next, our second podium of yeah. the year and then a second last week. I mean, I went home feeling like we really achieved something great. Yeah, um, and that's I mean, a great feeling. Yeah, and I was going to mention about that because to, I mean, to me it looks like you've taken a very humble um, approach to this season. Um, season started obviously very uh, difficult with a difficult car, but like you said, you've really enjoyed fourth place, fifth place finishes, and obviously second and third now uh, more recently. Um, ha and you've never really looked frustrated or you haven't looked... Uh, desperate at all mm -hmm. uh, so you must have grown like you said as a as a driver I think so I, well uh, thank you for that I think it's definitely not been perfect I've definitely not been perfect in the background I've definitely will say it's been a struggle particularly off the end of last year so it's been a real kind of odd kind of growth process and um, I've tried a lot of things with a car and experiments and so it's often caught us out and I've struggled with the feeling comfortable in the car this year um, 
and so to finally be in a place where that's not the case, I'm in a more kind of a leading position with the car now rather than it leading me, um, it has been good. And I think also there's, there's, there's people in our team that have been here for many, many years, even before this, our success. And then there's people that are new to the team have been here only with the wins. So this is a new experience for them also. So I think for anybody, it's good a good experience to have the adverse only makes you stronger. It's the failures, I think, that truly make us uh, strong. Yeah, I mean, you've always been very good at that. I remember even my days, um, you were very good at digging yourself out of a hole, and, yeah. you know, grinding out. Uh, and you're very good at uh, moving on from difficulties. I mean, I still haven't gotten over the fact that you lapped me at Silverstone in 2008 <laughs> on Sunday. Dude, you got to let that I one go. On yeah. My only <laughs> real chance to win. You lapped me. <laughs> wow, that but was uh, a really hard race, man. It, it was, was like hard the race, hardest race there. It's, it was unfortunate because, uh, I mean, you drove one of the races of your life, to be yeah. honest. You was a special driven a lot day. of good ones, but that, that was a special one. Definitely. Um, I mean, in a way, you had a kind of double blow in a very short period of time. I mean, the blow in Abu Dhabi, yep. and then coming to this season, going to the first test and first few races, and no chance to fight back. No chance fighting back. I mean, that yeah. must have been hard for you. I uh, mean, what yeah. did you do during the winter? How did you? I mean, it was definitely tough. Uh, my winter was a lot of um, self-reflection. Was a lot of I was surrounded by my family. That was the most beautiful thing. My family really, really reacted and all came around me. And so uh, I wasn't on my phone, I wasn't on social media, I was just playing with the kids, building snowmen. Um, we were uh, playing in the water, playing in the waves. Um, I, was, I continued to train because that was kind of healthy from, from my mindset. And, um, and, and a lot of thinking, kind of what's, what do I want to do next? How do I want to take this? And so then to like, turn the negative into positive and be like, okay, I'm going to come back and fight and then not have the ability to be able to fight back um, and regain what um, I had fought for last year has definitely been tough. But um, there's always a silver lining. And uh, what I'm happy with, like, with my last race, for example, because th uh, they always say you're, you're as good as your last race, but yeah. you know, for all of us, we always want to improve. Yeah. I like to think that um, I still got pace in me Reaction time, my start was really good in the last yeah. race. So my <laughs> yeah. reaction times are still really sharp. Yeah. So that shows that. You look fit and well. I mean, yeah. just by looking at you, I mean, uh, you thank look, you. Uh, look in a comfortable place to Appreciate me. It. So it looks Yeah, well, nice. I mean, I, I'm very focused on on, uh, my, on my body. I'm very focused on uh, my health and yeah. training. I, mean, I would say more than ever. I've noticed as well, when you get older, you got to, if you want to stay in any kind of shape, it's yeah. much harder. Got to train harder and focus on nutrition and rest. I mean, yeah. rest is rest something is the you know, biggest it takes thing. time to recover, man. It, it really does. <laughs> I would say it takes longer now to recover than it did, obviously, when we were, uh, you know, when we were in our younger days. Yeah, but, absolutely, absolutely. But it's um, still not um, impossible. You can yeah. still still do it. So, can this car be uh, competitive this year, or do you think it needs a redrawing for next year? And you are working everything that you do this year is working for next year or can you do you think there's a potential to win races this year with this car i honestly i honestly think there is potential to win races um and i'm waiting every weekend for every week i'm hoping that they find something that just brings us that little bit of extra downforce without bouncing bouncing um but it's been tough for the team to uh, to to achieve, but no one's given up on it. I, I think fundamentally we there is we have to acknowledge that the others have done a better job, and whichever kind of philosophy they've taken has worked well for them. And we have to be conscious of that moving forward. It can't be stubborn. It, at least. Yeah, we can't be stubborn and say no. Our way is definitely the way, and it will eventually work because we could wait for years for that. And we have to be quick. We have to be concise. We have to be humble in our approach, and which I think, I think we will be. I hope that's you know that's a the conversation that's in the background because you know how engineers are. Yeah, There's absolutely. a lot of pride in everyone's work, uh, as there should be. But um, I really do hope by the end of the year we're able to get get a win. I truly believe we will we'll get a win this year. But one win is not enough for us I in know, terms of what yeah. we work for. But um, it would hopefully be in good stead for next year. But I think right now, when I'm talking to the team, I'm like, hey, this is what I don't want next year, and this is what I need next year in, the, in this car. And so I'm trying to help steer them to make sure that they provide us with that next year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
everyone would love to see you joining the fight with Max and Charles. Oh man, I'd love to be out there fighting with them. And at Silverstone, I remember I was watching and I was actually in the studio in Finland. I wasn't in the commentary box, but I was watching the race in the studio in Finland. And at some point, the commentator of the Viaplay broadcasting team said, oh, Hamilton is uh, putting purple sectors, he's catching the leaders. And I thought, uh, your strategy is going to be the one now. I thought you sniffed the victory there. I did. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I did. I and honestly. I said before the race, look, don't rule out Hamilton. I think this, if this, if anyone can fire him up, it's this crowd. Yeah. Silverstone. This is his place. Yeah. So watch out for him. And everybody was like, ah, the Mercedes is not going to be quick enough. And I said, yeah, if he and can we get would, a sniff, he'll find the last couple. Tents, yeah, we were you know? so close, and that safety car yeah, right at the end, I think, just, really uh, changed it. Just it. ruined it. Yeah. 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 I think. Our, so our, our deck see. was better at that at the time, and I think we would have caught. I think we would have caught them. Yeah. Towards the end. I said to everybody, but I, I could see after the race you were trying to say, oh, you know, it's a great race. But I could see you sniff the win, man. No, I did. <laughs> I was so frustrated because I think particularly yeah. on your home ground, yeah, and we've yeah. not had it for so long. Yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah. yearning for that, that top step is, is growing stronger and stronger and stronger. So yeah. which is great. It just takes a bit of patience. And you just gotta stay patient. Absolutely. Man. Yeah. Stay on course. Yeah. Just one more thing, um, finally, uh, you obviously have a lot of other interests uh, on top of the Formula One racing yeah. world. Mm -hmm. You're involved in a uh, fashion business, uh, entertainment business, you even do your own music, um, mm. charities, uh, um, your own um, foundation. One day, uh, whenever that day is coming that you know you focus on something else, do you think it's going to be something that you're already involved in, that where the passion goes, uh, where the focus goes? Uh, can you? open that up at all I'm, I'm not putting any timeline i'm not yeah. saying that you need to retire or yeah, anything yeah. absolutely not but just can you see your next passion already now or is it I, too early to say no I, d I definitely can and i think i've really tried to utilize this time when i'm outside i hold a lot of zoom calls with people from different uh genres just to just to educate, be educated. I asked a lot of questions. I know the last one was with a specialist. Uh, started a solar panel company in in um, Silicon Valley, just okay. to see how he went about it, what his goals are, and just realizing there's a lot of amazing people out there who have really great intentions and um, really trying to help improve life for people and improve um, or s help save the planet for the future. Yeah. Um, I, I'm working on a lot of different projects I have a really big team now that I've been building uh, over the last like five years um, my own personal like team that's working with me to really help me um, bring the ideas and things that I'm passionate about to life so yeah. we have a lot of projects so I think ultimately I think a lot of people say they're entrepreneurs I think I'm generally am an entrepreneur because I have a lot of these business things going and I think afterwards I'll be able to zone, zone in on one or more of those yeah. um, and I think I'll always be I will always like you I'll always be tapped into this sport I'll always be watching you know yeah I'd like to think that I'm gonna be someone that I'll always want to be someone that's being positive to whatever drivers that are here yeah. good good or bad because you yeah. know how it is to yeah. start and how difficult it is and how it can suck and then how days can be good and yeah. how people can be negative about you I don't it's ever want to yeah. be one of those drivers that does yeah. that because we've experienced that yeah um, yeah and um, yeah, uh, and I honestly think if I, the way I've applied myself to this business, to the work ethic that I have with my team, if I apply myself how I have with this to whatever it is I'm passionate about, I don't think there's anything that I That's can't exactly do. That's exactly was gonna be my next point, that you know, if you put the focus that you put to this over the years, if you put that to something different, yeah, there's no stopping you. Yeah. And my you. impression also was that it's got to be something that is making a difference to the lives of people. Yeah. Not necessarily making a car faster here in the paddock or yeah. making your team in a uh, fighting politics here in the paddock. Yeah. But making a difference in the lives yeah, of people. people. You kind of come across like that, that you, it's, it's so close to your heart. And yeah. that's why I wanted to just. I um, appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. that. Well, I mean, we're all the same, you know, like 100%. we're all different but and unique and beautiful in our own ways, but we're all we all be the same color of blood, right? Yeah. We're all fighting something, and I l I choose to be someone that's uniting uniting people rather than dividing people. And um, as I said, I see so many people out there doing great things. I just want to be another uh, out there that's hopefully trying to do something positive in the small time that we have here in the universe, and uh, also to create memories. I think the memories is the only thing I think we take with us in my. My, in my belief of what happens in, in, in life and beyond. 
I think um, memories with our family, our friends, and our things that we've been passionate about. Um, I'm sad to see Seb's leaving, but I'm really proud of being to to have had a united front with him on certain things. Fighting on the track was great, but standing with him um, against certain beliefs and certain issues we when we face different countries has been one, some of the proudest moments I've had in this sport. So, yeah. yeah, lots to do, but all positive, hopefully. Yeah, well, it was good to talk to you, Luis. And Thank you. you very much. Thank you. So, it's so nice to see you, and uh, I wish you all the best. Yeah, let's try and not make it a year <laughs> before we see you again. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know. I, you, what I, are you having? Because you still look so young. You haven't changed. Uh, <laughs> your, your hair is still the same color. You <laughs> uh, well, you know, I don't know. I've well, done nothing. <laughs> I, oh, I've, I don't have, you know, I've done, I've looked after myself, like, right? Yeah. I, you know, I'm maybe not a typical, typical Finn in many ways. <laughs> you definitely you not. You know some <laughs> of the colleagues, how, they, how <laughs> their lives are. Yeah, for uh, sure. So maybe mine is different, but I don't know. Maybe I've got good genes, maybe... You've been away from Finland for too long, though. Perhaps, yeah. I'm going back there. Can you go... Probably. How are you going to do in the cold? I don't know. That's when it might go wrong. I think I'm more now Finn than you are, because I go in the, in, a, uh, in the sense of the cold. Yeah, you go. I go in the cryo chamber now for four and a half minutes. I can do almost five minutes in the cryo chamber at minus 110. I couldn't do that. I'm getting pretty good. So if I go back to Finland, I think it would be no problem getting into the ice lake. <laughs> My wife, you know, she actually invited herself to visit your place in Colorado, but sounds like it's not a good idea. It's freaking cold. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, well, I may have to come visit you sometime in Finland. Yeah, absolutely. Do some yeah. uh, or something. Absolutely, yeah. It'll be good. By right the way, how's your golf nowadays? Uh, I haven't played since... It's been a long time since I haven't okay, played. So we need to play at some point. The reason yeah, I, I stopped, the, most of the reason I stopped playing is because you know I like to smack it <laughs> and I can't get past that. Like I really want to hit the ball as hard and go as far as I can and I can't do the whole racks and swing that you I mean, have I to do. I saw the event that you did in the US and the swing looked good, but I just didn't see the ball right. So. <laughs> yeah, neither, did, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea where it went. Probably went <laughs> That's far the problem. away, but yeah. whichever direction, you don't know. Yeah. yeah um, I think it's something I will will definitely focus on, but later on because also f with the swing it really affects my back, ah, okay. and because you know it's um, it's uh, I don't know if many people talk about a sport, but obviously yeah. because you put a lot of effort through your left hip for the braking, yeah. our hips can be off often, and that's um, an asymmetric yeah, uh, sport around, as well. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so you're only if you're doing just swing and left. Yeah. The whole time, that's that's not good for balance, and yeah. I'm very focused. A lot on of that. the pro golfers also practice the other way. Really? You know, just for that. Oh god, it would give me even more frustrating <laughs> if I went the other way. <laughs> Start throwing Tell the club. About it. I've yeah. never tried it. Yeah. I barely can uh, hit the ball with. I the remember we were in. Was it with Japan or Korea when we used to go on the simulator, the yeah, golf simulator? Yeah, in Korea. Yeah. Korea. And one of the one of my best days during the Formula One career was the Sunday in Abu Dhabi. I can't remember. Before which the race. Seven o'clock tea time, I would have a golf club. <laughs> 18 holes, lunch. Did I win that day? I think you I won the race, man. No, but I, did I win? Yeah, did I? But I don't know if I won against us. I had a bigger was handicap. It, was Chilton playing with us, Max? I think Mark was playing with us. Oh, it was Mark. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah, Mark was with Maybe us. Maybe I won against him. That was a good one. day. We played 18, holes, 18 golf, holes. Lunch, a little rest. Lunch, a little rest, then race. And won the race. That's an ultimate day for me. Sheesh. That was a hardcore day. I'm not sure I could do that anymore. No, I, I definitely mean, couldn't. Not, I definitely couldn't do a Grand Prix right now, but uh, <laughs> you know, combining two sports the like two, that, yeah. too old for that, I think. Yeah, that was a lot. That was, that a, was lot. a good yeah. day, though. That was a fun day, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Thanks, dude. Man. Good, good to see you, man. You. Yeah, cheers, you, man. Really. Appreciate it. Thank you.